Charlie. So, hello everybody, and uh, this is a, just a quick video on the Raspberry Pi, uh, which is a small uh, home computer. It's right here, it costs about $25. I'm showing you a picture because it's an absolute mess right there with all my cables. But it just comes for $25, and there's no monitor or keyboard or anything like that. And uh, surprisingly, it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to talk about three things very quickly here. What is the Raspberry Pi? Um, I'm going to talk about a web server. And I'm going to give a very short demo. So what is the Raspberry Pi? It is a $25 computer. Um, it's about the size of a deck of cards. And you may be wondering what do you do with a, a circuit board. And the answer is uh, nothing. But that's the fun because... Um, what you can do with it, you have to do yourself, and that's the hobby. So people, uh, innovative and enterprising people, they do all sorts of things, from robotics to home weather stations to GPS devices to Bitcoin mining, um, and it's a lot of fun. So what I'm going to show you today is my first Raspberry Pi project, which is a web server, and it's a particular type of web server. Um, called a lamp stack and I'm going to show you a picture of that so we all know what a lamp stack is and I'm going to expand this here so a lamp stack is and it's not a light fixture lamp but lamp is an acronym for Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP lamp and that is the dream team of open source software like five or ten years ago. People have done amazing things with that. It still runs tens of thousands of web servers on the internet and these web servers do everything from handling tens of thousand requests per day to dropping carts to bookstores and catalogs and, and things like that. So I have built a lamp stack and I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, the first piece of the LAMP stack is the letter L, which stands for Linux, and this is um, a Linux prompt, and the l version of Linux that I have running here is called Raspbian, which is um, a form of Debian, and optimized for the Raspberry Pi, does all the Linux commands, present working directory, ls, and all the other things that you could uh, imagine. Um, I should say I had to took me about two hours last night and the whole operating system is on a camera memory card, the, uh, the SD card, um, a four megabyte SD card. So this whole, everything I'm showing you here is on a SD card uh, that costs about seven dollars. Uh, so that's the L in the LAMP stack, the Linux, and I'm just going to minimize that. If you're a geek you will know what Linux is and if you're not, you might not care. Um, the next letter in the LAMP stack is the Apache, and I'm going to show you that, whoops, and uh, Apache is uh, a web server which serves up content, and I will just show you Apache Home. So this is, um, this is a page uh, called It Works, so there's a the web, the web browser is talking to the web server and it's showing up this content here. So this is just a very quick thing with Apache. I know that's not very impressive, but that's I'll get back to slightly more impressive things later on. So the next thing I want to show you is MySQL. And MySQL is a database used to persist data. And um, I created a small table, a small database called Pi1, and a table in that database called Family and I put some rows in that database and I'll show you here, so I'm typing in select star from family, this is an SQL command and there's three rows in this database well here's the table the family table, it has two columns, name and job and there are three rows, star, Mike and Cindy and that's just a very brief touching on the MySQL database so that's the M in LAMP and the next thing is the PHP and I'm going to go back to the web browser to show you that. So the first thing I did was to create a web page called List Family. 
So this is PHP programming, and it's basically accessing the Apache and the MySQL to serve up the same content that I showed you in MySQL. So this, it's showing me what's in the database, Star, Mike, and Cindy here. So this is data from the database, and you can imagine this could be catalog data and images and shopping cart information. Um, the next little web page I created was called Add to Family. So this is another PHP page called Add to Family, and this is how we can add content to our persistent storage. So I'm going to type in uh, Elise, who's the camera person, and her job is student. And when I click Submit, it says one record added there. I go over here. I go select Start from Family. There is now a lease there. And if I go List Family, if I go List Family, we now see that Elise is in the database. Uh, I will add one more name to the database. Complete my family. Add to family. And the next person in our family is Ethan. And his job is student. And I'm going to click submit. One more to add it. I go back over here to my SQL. Select star from family. We see that Ethan's there. I go list family. And we now have Ethan. So this is the little web page. And then I created a third page to delete my family. So I go delete family. All members are deleted. I go over here. There's no one in the database. And if I go list family here, this should be empty. This little there's no rows. This little database is on the internet. Um, I'm accessing it here, but um, you could be doing this from anywhere in the world. So this is uh, a LAMP stack web server running on um, a Raspberry Pi computer, which is right here. And that took me about two hours to do. My next project is going to be either some Bitcoin mining, something I'm very interested in, or I'm going to write my own GPS device, uh, recording GPS information and uploading it to Strava. I'm doing all sorts of clever stuff with PHP programming to do my own uh, GPS device and Strava program. That's it. Thank you for paying attention.